I got sent by Taurus to Game 4 of the NBA Finals to see if me and my father's presence could save the Mavericks from getting swept and, well, let's see what happens. Have you ever traveled somewhere? Decided, I'm just going to go Uber everywhere, even though I don't know where I am, even though outside looks like we may be in trouble, and then decided we need a rental car. So we're going to get a rental car, and then we're going to go explore the city of Dallas. So what's the deal? The deal is this is what we're driving, Malibu. We're going to get food and see about JFK. Gotta go to Dealey Plaza. We also have the mission of Dallas Mavericks gear. Why are you, why are you slowing down? Now you're out of frame. Run. I mean, sir, please run. Respectful to elder, to, to fathers. What are you thinking? Full jumpsuit? I'm thinking reverse full of the self. That is just, you're a traitor. I gotta, I'm- You're more Celtics if you're gonna get out alive. I don't know, we'll see. We gotta, we'll see how the crowd is. We'll see if they're Phillies fans. Yeah, you wouldn't get out alive. Knicks fans would just be angry, but I don't think fight you. I, I don't know. I think Knicks fans would be resolved. It would be like, you know, oh, it was good down. It was destiny. It was bound to happen. You have never seen Knicks fans. You didn't see them after Trey Young beat them. We're having a fun day today. RIP, Mr. President. We're on a side mission. We're on a side quest. When you're in Dallas, we're conspiracy hunting. So we're going to find the grassy knoll, figure out what really happened. It's happening again. I'm trying to find the grassy knoll. I mean, there's a lot of grass. What is a knoll? All right, going off historic landmarks. So that's the knoll, right? Triple underpass. No, it's right here, the knoll. This is the grassy knoll. This is the knoll? I mean, we've all heard of the grassy knoll. I never thought it would be this underwhelming. You could see the street. You could definitely see the street. Where would you run? Easily trippable. If this was a movie, that would be the grassy knoll just for beauty. I feel like that car would have been Kennedy. What's crazy is how uh, inconspicuous this is. Is that the word? Yeah, this is closer than I thought it would be. It was here all along. Whoa, allegedly. Allegedly. It says allegedly on the sign. Well, yeah, because it's a I always envision the grassy knoll was much different. I thought it'd be bigger. Honestly, I thought it'd be huge. We're on the outskirts of the stadium. As you can see right there, that is our main goal right now. Statue of Dirk Nowitzki. The last man to win Dallas Mavericks in NBA Championship in 2011. Now, Mavericks just have to win four games in a row and, you know, kind of make NBA history by becoming the first team to ever come back from a 3-0 series lead. But we would be here to watch that first game. We're here right now. Ooh, we're here at game four. The 2004, no. We're here at game four of the 2024 NBA Finals hosted by Nikki Minaj. No, she's gone. My name is Chance. We're ready to see if Luka Doncic can do the impossible and bring the Mavericks back from a 3-0 series deficit. We're right there, the NBA championship trophy. I just feel like, like we're not allowed to walk in here. Loyalty never fades away for the real ones. So I think if we were here later, we'd have to like wait in line and stuff. For some reason, everyone's choosing this side. Hopefully uh, the Celtics aren't taking this home today. Should we walk the blue carpet? I gotta wait. Can't mess with the cowboy. I don't name any names, but I'm just saying, may have cost the Mavs a championship. I'm just saying, he's been playing bad. I also am just saying, this feels like we're walking into a VIP area. That it, for whatever reason is not, you know, you only have to show up to the game 10 plus hours early. You know, get an amazing seat. Time to get some gear. Time to figure out what we're wearing to the game. I feel like you gotta wear blue. Everyone's wearing blue. Come on, dad, show them. Show the people. Shirts? Matching father-son shirts. Hey, it's Father's Day. This is my gift to you. Taurus may have uh, been sending us, but they hooked up with the gift. They hooked up with the gift. Time to head over and see, can Luka Doncic do this? Get one win, and then they only need three more. They only need three more after that. And we are here, game four, NBA Finals. Things have completely changed. We've gone from a desert town to the vibes are immaculate. I will say right there, look at this. Is this somehow a Boston sports bar? What's going on? Too many Boston fans hoping to see that Larry O'Brien trophy. Again, we're here for Dallas. We're here repping the hometown. Taurus embraces the concept of be here now. And outside the NBA Finals, I couldn't feel any more excited. I was here living a lifelong goal. And thanks to the Coolify Cyberneck air conditioner, I was even comfortable in the 95 degree weather while doing so. Side note, my dad did eventually agree to take it from me. I am not a horrible son. I don't, I don't know where we're going. Why is everyone standing here? Heading into the stadium, my dad was deemed a security risk, but other than that, things were looking up. 
Now, this was my first finals game, and amazingly, Taurus invited us to watch in their suite. Thank you so much, Taurus. We couldn't have asked for a better time. Celtics have taken the court. Good amount of booze. Still have not seen Luka or Kyrie. However, we all know the man that we all wanted to see was that guy, Peyton Pritchard. Oh, here we go. I want my baby back. I wonder if by baby they mean first three games of this series. Where's the boy? There he is. Sleeveless. Putting all the I'm um, fat rumors to shame. That Kyrie layup was sick. So, if you're watching this, you obviously already know the score. Or you've been waiting on this vlog to watch the game through my eyes, which I really appreciate. Thank you very much for that. My biggest thing here is when you're down 3-0, of course, no team has come back from 3-0 ever in NBA history. So, we can be watching the beginning of quite literally a historic event. But also, for the Dallas Mavericks, it's going to be super, super important to come out hot. Because I think just in terms of the team mentality, if you end up going down early, if the Celtics outscore the Mavericks, Mavericks early, it's going to be really hard to come back because in your head, you're already against such what may feel like insurmountable odds. I'm curious what Jason Kidd said. What's your prediction? Who's winning? What's the score? It's gotta be the Mavericks. By how much? I don't think they're gonna win by more than three or six. I'm gonna predict, just, just to be a fortune teller here, Luka Doncic, game winner, buzzer beater, and then the Mavericks come back. Watch it happen. I think Luka needs to score 36. 36? Okay. I'm going 52. Realistically, I think Luka and Kyrie, 70 combined from Luka and Kyrie, I think gets the job done. The Celtics have been playing lights out. Let's see if they continue it. Jason Tatum's already basically talking about creating a dynasty. So, Mavericks are up 13 right now after the first quarter. I will say, I think Jason Tatum is trying to play to win NBA Finals MVP. He has 11 points right now. He is shooting a lot. I think for his basketball legacy, he really is trying to have like a 40 point close out game get that NBA Finals MVP nod after having a few rougher games despite the three Celtics wins Luka has 13 points right now in the first quarter he is on pace to have 50 52 I'm great at math. I'm going to say I'm here right now for a 50-point Luka NBA Finals game. I mean, at the end of the day, no matter how the series will play out, if you're here in the building for a 50-point NBA Finals game, that is history, baby. That's history. What was he playing for? Groceries for two whole years. Groceries for two whole years. You know times are tough out here. What do you think about my idea that it should be mandatory at NBA Finals games for a million-dollar half-court shot? Every Finals game. Million dollars. You know they've done it. I don't think it really would cost them anything. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Do you know? Do you know they uh they brought two like kids, like they were high school kids at the All Star game. It was a free throw for a million dollars. Did they make it? No, okay. no. And forever, they probably. I mean, what do you think happens to someone after they miss a million dollar shot? Do their lives are ruined? No, I think they find the nearest bar and drink themselves slowly. <laughs> I think they, uh, I think after that they go to a life of crime, I'm not going to lie. How can you sleep forever? I think you think a lot of abuse from your friends, although they wouldn't make it either. That actually happened, a guy missed the million dollar shot and he got bullied off his basketball team. He got bullied! If he had made that shot, they would have been asking for money. Luka with 27, the 50 is looking tough, but the Mavericks are up by 33 points. Like, when does that happen? 3-0 series deficit, 33 point blowout? Unexpected, unexpected for sure. Maybe it is really gonna be Mavs in seven. No joke, these Clify Cybers were such a big hit that a guy in the other section begged for one and ended up getting one. Now he's hyping it up and telling everyone about it. So again, living the life of luxury just say somehow before the fourth quarter we were playing garbage time somehow the mavericks have shocked everyone i mean i think a lot of people thought this was going to be a sweep not a 30 point mavericks win after the game i couldn't help but think how lucky i was to experience such an incredible moment with my dad and the mavs fans were excited <laughs> If you were a Boston fan and you flew here, well, I kind of feel bad for you. After the game, though, I was just enjoying the moment. Outside the stadium, these buildings were actually lit up in a really cool way to show off different messages. All in all, this was a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and I owe it all to Taurus. I want to give a huge shout-out to Taurus, the sponsor of today's video, for sending me to Game 4 of the NBA Finals. Taurus is a proud sponsor of the Dallas Mavericks, and they actually sent me some of their gear. Specifically, I want to show you the Coolify Cyber. I was wearing it all video for good reason as 
as the Mavericks actually purchased a bunch of these Taurus portable air conditioners, as I've already mentioned before on this channel, for their players and staff in 2023. They were so impressed with the products and Taurus's values. Curiosity towards technology, a dedication to excellence, and a focus on living in the moment, which leads to their current collaboration. Taurus's brand slogan, Be Here Now, is aligned with the Mavs' core spirit for this season. Kyrie Irving has mentioned in post-game press conferences this year all about being focused on the present and instinctual. For me, of course, being focused on the present and giving everything I have is incredibly important. I put my whole heart, all of my time, and my effort into making the best videos I can possible for you guys, so I really love the idea of the Be Here Now concept. So again, thank you to Taurus and the Mavericks for inviting me out to Game 4 in Dallas. Please click the link in my description to take advantage of the Taurus membership services during the finals. For every purchase you make during the finals, Taurus is going to invest 50%, yes, 50% of their sales to sports development. That is a lot. So shout out to Taurus. Again, the air conditioner was such a massive hit that while we were in the suite, people were begging to get them. And overall, thank you for watching. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music.